Talkers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having the best day ever. Okay, we are having a conversation today. We have multiple different points to hit, so I hope you're here for it. And if you're here for these more sit down talk videos and opinion and trying to recap you on a lot of things at once, then this video is for you. If not, there's other videos. But today we're gonna to be talking about David Dobrik. So David has had a lot of little dramas happen recently that I've been like behind the scenes taking notes on for quite some time and I have a lot of opinions on them. But with each individual thing, I have like a lot of opinions in like bursts. So I've kind of been gathering my stuff about David and now I have a lot to talk about with David and the vlog squad. So we're gonna to get to all of that. I am also wearing two hoodies because I went outside today and it is, it, it's a lot right now. So, oh, 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 hold on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Okay, I wasn't gonna do this, but I went out today, and I went out to, I'm gonna do this really fast, because I know people aren't here for this. I went out really quickly today. I went out at 6 p.m., think, or I went out at 5 p.m., thinking the stores were closed at 6 p.m., because it's a Saturday, it's a Sunday, speaking too fast. Ended up everywhere closed at 5, but this one shop was open, and they had a really cute elf hoodie that I just needed. And I went in and was like, hi, like, are you guys closing up at five or whatever? And they went, no, you can come in. They were so sweet. I went in. I went, I want that one. I want that one. They went, perfect. Fast customer. We love it. And I got two hoodies. And I'm literally, I'm so happy to wear them. So whenever you see me wearing them next week, pretend you haven't seen them before. But I just really wanted to show you them because I think they're so cute. So I got this Charlie Brown Christmas one, which I think is so, so, so cute. But my favorite one in which I just had to get, right? Have you ever, listen, Christmas jumpers can be hideous and you can think this is hideous, but I think this is the most beautiful thing of all time. Are you kidding me? An elf, I cannot wait to wear that. Okay, right back into the video. Thank you for allowing me to have my little thought. Okay, David Dobrik, I have a couple notes. Let's get to the first one. Okay, vaccine issue. All right, okay, so one of the friends in the vlog squad, Aaron, recently got married and the wedding was kind of a big deal. Like, people were posting about it on social media. Again, with any person who's in the YouTuber space, when they get married, it's normally a really big re-peak of interest and it really was with Aaron again. She, again, is one of the vlog squad members. And a lot of the vlog squad, you know, you would assume would be there because they're all friends. And I mean, we've talked about are the vlog squad friends, is it fake friends, whatever, all in the past. But they're all like friendly. So you would think that, you know, a group that tries to sell themselves as almost family, family, would all be at the wedding. And a couple of them were supposed to be like bridesmaids and involved in the wedding and weren't there. But some of them were seen at the wedding and posting TikToks at the wedding and posting videos at the wedding. And it confused a lot, a lot, a lot of fans. And my fans looked a little bit further into it and they did see that there was a vaccine requirement for the venue and for the wedding. Now, again, a smart thing to do, especially if you're hosting a gathering. And a lot of people jumped to the conclusion because they hadn't heard any of the vlog squad members really speak about whether they were vaccinated or their opinion on the vaccine. They automatically assumed that the reason for a lot of vlog squad not attending the wedding of their best friend, their family, was because of this mandate that was necessary and everyone was like, oh wait, so were y'all not vaccinated? And furthermore, for the vlog squad not to be vaccinated, it's quite an alarming thought because the vlog squad have been traveling the world and have been going to parties every single day and doing a lot of gatherings. So people are like up in arms because they're like, okay, so did you not go to the wedding of your best friend because there was a vaccine mandate and you didn't have it? Let's say that that is the truth. Then why would you be going to Paris, going to all these different places in Europe, and then going to parties in LA, parties in New York, parties in all the places in Europe, if you didn't have your vaccine? So it confused a lot of people, and my opinion on that is if they don't have their vaccine by now, you've had every chance to get it. We're on boosters now, baby. But past that, if you allegedly don't have your vaccine in which you cannot even attend your friend's wedding, allegedly. That's why I'm, I'm not saying names here just because I'm saying allegedly, right? Oh, pick it yourself up, boy. Allegedly. If allegedly. you don't have your vaccine, why the hell are you going to all these parties? Allegedly. Why the hell are you traveling the world for a Hulu show with David? Allegedly. Gatherings every day. Allegedly. Meeting up with everyone for the past couple months. I'm side-eyeing this and I think that past anything, if you have a platform and people are now speculating about this and you're not coming up and speaking about it, it's incredibly, past shady, past shady, incredibly irresponsible 
set the example that you want to follow through with. So anyway, regardless of if they are or aren't vaccinated, it was very weird that a huge chunk of them didn't even show up to their best friend's wedding. But that's only one of the things we're going to talk about today. Also, little part, Zayn and Heath released a company line and they're out of uh, coffee and they're getting a lot of backlash because people aren't getting their orders. That's also something, but they've had a big drama with that and I think there's a resolution with it, kind of not as well. That's been happening. Okay. But one of the things that did happen was David went on their podcast, kind of, you know, like the Vlog Squad members podcast, and they were talking about something that has been speculated about David for quite some time. They basically brought up the fact that they have never seen David kiss a woman. And then David immediately responds to that with, you know, I was dating your friend for the longest time, talking about Liza. David and Liza were one of the YouTube golden couples for many, many, many years, one of the Vine golden couples too. And they were together every single day, but then people looked into it further and they were like, oh wait, David and Liza never kissed on camera. David and Liza never kissed behind the scenes because the friends are now saying this. And the guys in the podcast were basically insinuating. They were like, David, we've seen you kiss us. You know, the guys, we've seen you kiss other guys. We've never seen you kiss any other woman. And David was basically just making it all a big joke, like, when am I ever going to kiss a woman in front of you? But it's also interesting to note that Liza went on a bunch of different podcasts a while ago and actually talked, this was whenever David was getting really cancelled, so you were, it was much more likely that someone was going to speak up against him, and Liza actually did. You know, they did their breakup video and they haven't really been seen together since, you know, it would just be a bit awkward even though they have the similar friends. However, Liza went on the podcast and talked about the fact that in her relationship, talking about David, she had to fake it in the bedroom. And that she became, in her words, a very good actress. And that she then felt that she had to, overall in the relationship, mold herself into the person that people wanted her to be, rather than who she actually wanted to be. And that's whenever she broke free in that, in terms of the relationship. So, if you pair these two stories together, where the vlog squad are saying this about David and Liza saying this about David, first of all, it just seems like he's a horrible lover, but it's interesting to hear it. And it's like, listen, everyone loves to do their allegations about David Dobrik. I'm not here to do that, really don't care. But it's interesting to note that a YouTube couple, a very, very, very popular YouTube couple was not even being romantic behind the scenes. Makes you think about PR relationships, right? Allegedly. I'm not saying anything further. Okay, but following on from that, we have quite possibly the biggest thing that David is getting a lot of controversy for right now because a lot of people are making videos calling David and his friends out. The reason you may ask, they're not tipping and they're being horrible people to serve at a restaurant. So the first one was a TikTok that went viral and it was someone speaking about the fact that they had David there and all of the Vlog Squad members and among everything they basically said that they were horrible to look after, they said that they were really loud and really noisy and offset the vibe of the restaurant and it's like listen, the Vlog Squad and David on this podcast were denying that that ever happened. Do I believe that David and the Vlog Squad are very loud at a restaurant? Absolutely. Do I believe that they're so over the top annoying at a relate or at a relationship? The two topics merging at a restaurant. Absolutely. Do I think that they are the most annoying table to probably look after if you are a waitress? Absolutely. Especially if they're drinking. And I mean, I don't know why people are so shocked at this. I mean, it's not a nice thing to say, but I don't know why people are so shocked because the vlogs that David posts show the friend group in not the nicest way. Show them always really loud, drunk always breaking things, always starting fights. Like, I, it's only natural, unfortunately, that at a restaurant, they're probably not a good table to have and probably one that demands a lot. And so I didn't put it past them. But anyway, the waitress spoke up and said that it was really annoying because they were a hassle to look after, if you know what I mean, the table. And they didn't even tip in the end. But she goes on to say that they did not tip and David just left on his credit card and instead of doing a tip, just gave his signature as if she wanted his signature. Now my thing in this, David comes up and says that, he says that he doesn't have a credit card. Like his way out of this is, I don't have a credit card. Like everyone else always pays for me. I mean, is that a flex? And also I don't understand how David Dobrik doesn't have a credit card because even if he didn't have his green card, in America, you would still have a credit card or a debit card. But anyway, he's like trying to get out of this by saying that I don't even have a credit card, I don't have a debit card. He's like, everyone else always pays for me and it's up to them if they tip. And it's like, 
Waitresses are so underpaid and the economy of waitressing treats these people who are just trying to make a living as they are so disposable, which means that they're literally forced to work such bad paychecks. So tipping is necessary. Tipping is literally what pays their bills. And it's like, regardless of anything, you have to agree that that is the structure currently in America and a lot of other places. You know, in different parts of the world, you know, the pay that waitresses get is a lot higher, but in America, it is disastrously low, and your tip per table is literally one of the main factors in their paycheck. So if you don't do it, you're just a fucking douchebag. You're getting away with just cheap food and cheap service. Lower than cheap, you're getting it for free. It pisses me off when people don't tip. And listen, over in the UK and Ireland, I tip with every meal as well. I just think that these people are literally serving you. And it's like giving something back to them, regardless of how much money they get in the UK or whatever. And especially with delivery drivers as well. It's something I've always been brought up doing. And it's always like, Adam, if you don't have enough money to tip, then you don't have enough money to do the order. My mom and dad always brought me up like that. They were like, if you have £10 for a McDonald's, do you have £15 to also tip on top of that? If no, go and get the McDonald's yourself. It's something I've always been brought up with. And the second thing that they were accused of was that they always have, so a lot of TikTokers then started making these videos saying that they worked at DoorDash, they worked at whatever, and they've delivered food to David Dobrik's house in the past, and they've never even gotten a tip for that. Now that's going way more above and beyond. They're getting your food and bringing it to him, and they've said that they've never got a tip from David. So David addresses both. He said that number one, in terms of in the, rela in the relationship, oh my God, I can't get past the lies of things, it's too juicy. In the restaurant, David said that he doesn't have a credit card, so he couldn't have even put one down. Which is like, so did you not pay for it? Like, what the fuck? And he says, why would I just give someone my signature? I don't put it past David. Do I think he did this? I can see him giving his signature thinking that they would want it and they don't. So yes, I could actually see that he would do that. Allegedly. So he's being accused of doing that. He said that he didn't even do that and that it's just so delusional that they're accusing him of that. And to get out of the controversy of him being accused of not paying like DoorDash or Uber Eats or any of these service delivery drivers, he said that, oh, it wasn't me, it was Natalie. He pushes all the blame off on his assistant, Natalie. He's like, yeah, Natalie orders food all the time and you know, she never tips. So he literally confirms that these rumors are true. And it's like, this person has millions upon millions and is refusing to tip a couple dollars, anything, crumbs. He blames it on Natalie saying that, you know, Natalie never tips and it's not me. You know, I never have the option to tip because I'm never the one getting the stuff. You know, I don't have a credit card nor am I at the door picking up the stuff. Anything that this man does, he always has a way of getting out of it. And it's like, I just think you're a douchebag if you don't tip. I really, really, really do. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. Oi, so David's getting called out for all of the above. And I want to know your opinion on it. We can talk about it below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Just tip! Oh my god, how, like, oh my god. Just fucking tip. Okay, bye.